So we've gone ahead here and mixed the white milk paint up. And what I've done is a test to ensure that I'm getting the right coverage that I'm going for. As you can see, the concrete looks quite dark and my white is covering exceptionally well. So when I was doing my mix, I always want to do a test to make sure that I'm getting exactly the mix I want. What happened if it was too thin? I would simply just add some more powder and continue blending until you get the right mix. What I did was I actually made up a whole batch at one time. I've got about half a barrel full here because I have a huge floor to do. Consistency for me is a big issue. So what I'm gonna do is as I'm working with it, I wanna make sure that I take my little stick and give it a stir every now and then. Because milk paint is completely natural, you have all of the pigments that will settle to the bottom over time. Gravity does its wonderful job. And what we wanna do is make sure that those stay suspended. So if we give it a little stir, I would say every five to 10 minutes, that's a great idea, especially before you go to pour in more into your container. Now, I'm just using a basic roller here. And what I did was pour some into my container. And the thing that you want to make sure of here is that when you're getting the paint, you really want to get in there right to the bottom because once again, those wonderful pigments will settle to the bottom. So just give us a little mix, a little blend up. And just to show you the coverage that I'm getting, really easy to roll it on. Really happy with that coverage. I've got a lot of uneven surface here. So I'll probably need to use a fair bit of paint to make sure that it does soak into the cracks really nicely, but really straightforward and easy to apply. So I'm going to go ahead, apply this to the rest of the floor. The milk paint dries very quickly. It'll probably be dry within about 20 or so minutes. And uh, I certainly won't be done the whole room before then. So after about 20 minutes, it's dry. And we can step back, take a look at it. So you can need to put a second coat on. Ideally, I'm just gonna do one coat to get a beautiful wash. And then I'm gonna go ahead with a all natural hemp oil top coat to protect it.